Hey guys, we always talk about you know our feeder prices and the ability to not find the food and so on and so forth. So because we're not located in New Brunswick, I decided to take on the task to try and find a reasonable priced food. This was the big thing that the New Brunswick Herb Association was doing. Our order came in last night at midnight, and now, well, this is what we got. This is the kind of the quality of rodent that came from this order. So now I'm moving forward. I'm going to start trying to feed some of our rescues here and moving our way up to some of our breeders and so on and so forth. And, you know, hopefully we get a little show. With my luck, because I'm recording, nothing is going to get eaten. But with any kind of luck, everything will be yet eaten, and it'll be fun. So here we have just our little king snake, California banded king snake. He came in, oh, I don't know, a couple months ago, give or take. Doing very well. There was nothing wrong with him in, as far as his health was concerned and things of that nature. He just couldn't stay where he was. Where he was. So he has not eaten for us yet. But, oh, he's looking like it. He's gonna. He, he looks interested. But there's no negative side effects that's happening to him yet, so I'm not gonna panic because it is winter time. But this is the third time we've offered him food, and, and he's just said, no, screw you guys, I'm not eating. And I won't be, I won't normally leave food down. Like right now, I'm going to leave this rat down. Hopefully, he's going to take it. <clears throat> but this isn't this isn't normally something I would do. I don't like leaving food down because then it just sits there and rots. So that's our king snake. We'll hope that he eats, and we'll just kind of move our way, move ourselves down the line here. Another little rescue of ours right here. It's our Taiwanese beauty rat snake. She eats fine. Where is her face though? Oh my god. Oh, that's so cute. There it is. Yeah. And we feed these this girl. She she's old, so we feed her small meals. We don't want her uh, her body to work have to work too hard for anything. She can have all she wants when she wants. Oh, she's gonna come for it. Last time she ate, she was very gentle. She didn't like to strike last time. Oh, not gentle this time. Yeehaw. Went right to town. We'll go over here to the, to the rescue down here. This post here generated a lot of buzz when I posted it in one of the reptile groups that I'm a, I'm a member of. This is our little ball, pastel ball python that came in with scale rot and it's been doing substantially substantially well oh it even it's able it peed oh wow but what i'm going to do here i'm not a big fan of this but i'm going to see if it eats and if it eats i'm going to lift it right up out of that that pee spot It wouldn't surprise me if it doesn't eat, in all honesty. No interest as of right now, anyway. I don't blame it. I didn't even know that was in there, so I'm just going to make sure that that stays there the outside so I can get to it as soon as I'm done with feed. That went into a sick end of those cabbage, so we're gonna toss this to the side. We won't feed that to anything. Awesome go along. Up top, oh yeah. Well, we're already here. Do that like they can hear me, it's fine. Oh, 
And all these ball pythons, they were all just rescues. They just kind of... People couldn't keep them as pets, so they, they ended up on our doorstep. And, well, we love them, so... So we feed them, keep them warm, make sure that they got clean water. And from time to time, when it, cause it is breeding season, I'll cycle pairs together and hope that the next year when I try to breed them that I don't have any big problems with it. There we go. She's a, she's a beast. Oh, come on now. Cool, eh? Good girl. <laughs>